Hey everyone, my name is Solomon Hanif. Welcome back to part two of my video series on the Fortinet Ansible solution. So this is the second of four of the series that I'm running. Um, in this one specific, we're going to set up two CentOS servers on one on VLAN 100 and one on VLAN 200. And then we're going to verify that they are able to communicate as instructed by the firewall policy. So in our previous example, we can we used Ansible playbooks to help uh, set up our VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 on our uh, FortiGate appliance. And we also set up some firewall policies. These policies will eventually help us ensure a separation between the dev and production environment. Um, separate servers will now be installed on each of the respective zones. So why did we choose CentOS? First, it's a free alternative to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And also, there's a lot of information online to help troubleshoot any issues you may encounter if you're following this tutorial. And the major thing was it's actually very easy to implement VLAN, network bridges, and VMs on CentOS. So right now we're going to go through installation of the CentOS. And before I started this tutorial, I've already set up these dev and prod servers by using the minimal installation possible. This is to ensure that we do not have a lot of packages on the server. And first thing we need to do is also uh, disable Network Manager. Sometimes with Network Manager running and you're playing with the configurations in the back, the automation of Network Manager will sometimes conflict and you leads to uh, really weird things going on with the network stack. So right now I'm going to open up Terminal and I'm going to go to our dev server. I'll just make this a little bigger. So we'll log on to our dev server right now. And with CentOS, all the configurations for a network are in etc. sysconfig network scripts. So if you look here, we have our interface. And on this instance of our dev server, we have already installed a virtualization library, libvirt. And that's why we're seeing uh, this virtual bridge right here. Um, if you type IPA, you get a list of all the network devices that are on this server. So this is the actual main network device, and this is the virtual bridge. I'll get into this a little bit later. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to show you where you can find out where to do the system configuration manually. It's also good practice to back up these files because we are going to start playing the network stack and you might need to revert back if something goes wrong. So we could skip this on this uh, dev server because I've already done it, but essentially you want to install this libvirt package and then you want to enable it and then you want to start it. So right now we need to change our main interface. So the ENP3S0, and we want to use these configurations here. So I'll just simply edit this file. I'll just remove everything here. And then what we want to do now is we're going to take the same interface, ENPS3S0, uh, and we're going to add dot 100. Dot 100 indicates that this interface is going to listen for any tags that are coming with VLAN 100. So we'll open up a file here. And then we'll just put the contents into this file. And we'll save it. So 
So I'll take a look at this file for a quick second. You'll notice this line bridge uh, bridge equals VIRBR0. What's happening here is we're going to use this interface as the uplink for the virtual bridge to talk to the main network. So now we need to configure our virtual bridge. So we'll just hit that fault as well. Gosh, sorry. So I'll just delete all this stuff out. And I'll add this in. And then we need to make sure we have this, uh, the module 802.1Q enabled on the server. And this will, this will help us uh, enable VLAN on our server. Um, I've already done this, I believe. Let me just double check. Okay, so I'm gonna reboot our dev server and let that run. Now I'm gonna to go to our production server. And then we'll go to the network directory where our scripts are. On this server, uh, our interface is actually uh, enumerated differently. We have ENP2S0. Uh, and we'll change this to reflect changes here. Okay, just like before, so we have ENP 2S0, but this time we're going to do dot 200 to indicate we want to listen to uh, VLAN 200 and send packets over VLAN 200. So we'll create that file now. Ah, sorry, I forgot to sudo this. to check one quick thing so I'm going to do yum dash y install with or just to verify it is running on the server okay so it's not so it's going to install the packages so now I'm going to CDI config let me just double check okay so it doesn't exist all right Just verify that we have this set. We do. Okay, so I'm going to reboot this server now. So now what's happening is the server is rebooting and it's going to go on to VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 depending on the server that we've configured. So we're going to go to our network preferences. slide this over here and we're going to go to VLAN 200 so I'll just manually set this here and dot one dot two dot one hundred will be our workstation IP we'll apply the changes and we'll turn this off okay so now let's ping our dev server to see if we can reach it. And we can reach it. Now let's try pinging our production server and we can reach it. 
Now let's try SSHing to see if it's working. And we're there. You know, it's a uh, song at DC2, which is our dev server. And now let's try our production server. And there we go, Psalm at DC4. So it looks like we've now deployed our CentOS servers, one in dev, one in production, and we are able to reach them. So in this tutorial, we've now set up the dev and prod servers and they're running on their own networks and our workstation is able to communicate to them. In our next tutorial, we're going to deploy uh, WordPress on the dev instance and on the production instance, just to give you a real world example of how you can actually use this in your organization. Again, if you have any questions or feedback, please reach out at me at the email here or any of our staff. Our contact information will also be below this video. Thanks for watching.